This nation was not founded on political principles. This nation was founded on spiritual principles. You see, throughout, throughout the history of mankind, people were always told, your rights, your rights are what the government allows you to have. Your rights are what your leaders tell you your rights are. This nation was founded on the belief that your rights are ordained by God, by our Creator. Life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. And government can't deny you those rights. If it does, it's an illegitimate form of government. The role of government is to protect your rights, not to grant them to you. And it all begins with the belief that God created those rights and gave them to you. And I just want to follow up. And how far, how far should government go in protecting those rights? Is there a line when government goes too far? In protecting religious liberty? No, in protecting the rights that you say that are endowed by our Creator, which could be religious liberty, but other rights. Well, that's the, that's the reason why we have a federal government. That's the reason why we have government to protect your rights, as ordained in the Constitution, which clearly lays out very specific and delineated powers. It's designed as a document of limitation, and it makes very clear that the reason why we have a government is to protect our rights, not to decide them. And, and it's absolutely essential that our religious liberties be protected. But they Marco, are, they are, but the president would say that discrimination, that everyone has the right to be treated equally. Is he wrong? No, everyone does have a right to be treated equally. But in the context of the definition of marriage, that is not the debate. The debate is how do you define a very specific institution, an institution that's been defined this way for the entire existence of human history up until six months ago or three, four months ago, and in other contemporary efforts in this country to redefine it. This is not a debate about discrimination. This is a debate about how do you define the institution of marriage and about the efforts of some to change that definition. That is not about discrimination. That is a definitional debate. And we, we fight for the principle that marriage is defined as one man and one woman, that that's, what it's, that's what's existed in society through all of human history, and that we believe that principle should continue to be the case. And I'm going to ask 